Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here, and today we're going to take a look at a camera app called Focal. Now, Focal was originally found inside your mod 10.2 and has recently made its way to the Google Play Store. Now, it was released around two months ago, but at the time it had many bugs and really just wasn't couldn't be used as a daily driver. But now I feel as though it's more stable and up to date, so I decided to make a review of it. All right, so let's open it up. Now what's nice about Focal is the fact that it gives you a whole lot more features than what you will find in your stock Android camera app. So what's cool is that, first of all, you can swipe over here, swipe out, and it gives you different modes. Switch to front camera, uh, pic sphere, which is kind of like their photo sphere, video mode, par panorama, and uh, photo mode. Now in addition, you can swipe up right here. Now you see at the bottom, we have a slew of options here where we can adjust like the flash, white balance, screen mode, effects, ISO burst mode, uh, and a whole lot of other things. So we can go to effects here. Pretty much your basic set of effects like sepia, posterize, negative. Uh, here's a sketch effect. Uh, that's like a sketch effect to everything. Uh, embos, neon, uh, sepia. I mean, these are your pretty much your basic effects here. In addition, we can adjust white balance, ISO. So these are all things you're pretty much used to in a camera app. One thing that I like is that all these menus have a nice clean look to them. And if I want to get rid of them, all I have to, all I have to do is just swipe it. Ugh, swipe it, got swipe, swipe, there you go. And it swipes up. And I can swipe this down and that swipes down. All right, so let's take a few test photos. Snapping a few photos. In addition, we can go to video mode over here. Video. And what's nice is that in video mode, we can double tap to take a picture. So. Let's try to do that. There we go. Took a picture for us. Uh, it's a little delayed, um, just slightly, but nothing really, not a big deal. We get okay, so we can enable HDR too in video mode, which is nice. So I can go here and let's swipe this up, get that out of the way, swipe that down, and I see we have an awesome video mode right here. Now we can go to the pic sphere right here, and this is kind of like the photo sphere uh, for the device. And we can slowly rotate our way around. So if you want a photosphere for your phone, download Focal because it kind of has that photosphere effect to it. Alright, and I'm going to stop right there. But you kind of get the point. We can take the images and start going around. Let's see if we can go up a little higher. Right there. Alright, that's cool. So see, as we're seeing, we're building up a 3D photo. Don't have much room to work with here. Uh... All right, so that came out a little sloppy, but right now we're building a 3D photo. Like I said, just like you would do in Photosphere, do the same thing in Focal, which is really neat. Here we have the front-facing camera right there. So, yeah, that works pretty well as well. <laughs> All right, guys, so this has been the camera app Focal. It's available free within the Google Play Store. It's still in development, so still some things are a little quirky with it. There might be still a little bugs with it. But it's still a great camera app, and definitely if you're stuck with stocking Android right now, I would highly suggest you download this and install it, because it provides so many features that you just don't find in a stock camera app. Now, if you're using something like the Galaxy S4, where Samsung has pretty much put everything but the kitchen sink in the camera app, this might not really be of interest to you. But still, try it out and see how it works. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more Galaxy videos. Thanks.